Welcome to my companion videos for the Miranda Day Bag Embroidery Project. Okay, so let's look at this satin column edging that I had created, my scallop here. It is, if we expand my objects, you'll see that I have multiple objects. They're all the same color, so it when I send it to the machine, there are no starts and stops. It's all one color. The first part that I created, even though it's my second object, was my individual scallop. Now, if you notice, I work easier, work less, not harder. So I did not draw the entire thing. I drew one section, set my start on the left, my stop on the right, and copy and pasted and connected them all together. Now, this is a, I have my density set. I've done my test so, so I knew which, what I wanted for my settings. On my underlay, I have it set to the, um, I have an edge run, the, um, all, all of my underlays selected so that it has enough um, sturdiness because I'm stitching it on the um, organza so that it becomes a nice edge. And I simply copied and pasted to create my freestanding or my scalloped edge. So work smarter, not harder. The next part, once I had this created and I'd done my test sews, I knew that I needed to create this edging, this um, insertion portion. And that is simply a rectangle, as you can see. Now, one thing to pay attention to is that this, I wanted it to stitch first so that the scallops were on top of it. So I have it starting on the right and ending on the left so that when my scallops are starting, that my first scallop starts at this position. For my edging or my insertion, it is simply a rectangle that I've shaped and I have it set so that it stitches a little, um, the scallops are on top of it. I have my uh, density set to a low density. Even though the number only goes up to 15, that is the highest or the highest um, density that you can have by using the slider bar, I simply typed in the number 19, hit enter, and adjust the density. My underlay stitching for this is freestanding because I had originally thought this would be a freestanding lace and I wanted it to be, again, sturdy enough to hold the stitches. Now, so that is going to stitch first, then my column stitch, and they are connected to one another. And then the final part that stitches is a bean stitch that starts on the right and ends on the left. And the way that this was created, let me just delete it so that we don't have to look at it here. I, in, in Stitch Artist 3, I chose to create an outline from the stitches which it does, and then I simplified it. So I did not, it creates an outline from all those individual stitches that are on the screen. So I simply went through and delete, deleted the extra ones on the bottom, adjusted, took out some of the extra ones here on the top because I didn't need them, wanted my smooth curves and assigned it to a bean stitch. So that is all that I did to create my outline. Once I had it all created, this design, and I had done this as a smaller version first as my test sew, I simply copied and pasted and moved them down into my design page so that I had the one, as many as I needed. For this complete embroidery project, please visit my website.